people broadcast their personality and how they choose to dress and wear their hair. One of the very few good things about not being mayor is I can slob around in you know, jeans and a t-shirt and I don't have to shave if I haven't got a meeting. Whereas if you're the mayor, you're always on display. I mean, you don't know, you can go in dressed down but then something happens during the day and you're speaking and it's being reported around the world. So you, you end, I ended up, I suppose, I was more formally dressed in those eight years than any to all the rest of my life put together. And I mean, when you remember the row about Boris Johnson at the Olympics and the suit not buttoned up, the hands in the pockets, I mean, there is a real problem if you're Mayor London, you are, you know, the salesman for the city, you're the hapster for the city, you're trying to persuade people that it's a great place to come. So. 90% of what you do, you need to look fairly orthodox. I mean, if you're negotiating with business people from Japan or China or Russia, and you look like a flaky, they're, they're just going to feel that your city is flaky, that you really don't take things seriously, that they can't rely on you. Um, and so I was much more formally dressed than would have been my natural choice throughout the eight years. As I'd gone up to make a speech at Labour Party Conference in 77, I heard this woman as I walked towards the podium said, loudly, oh God, not another man in a safari jacket, you know. <laughs> but then I did have someone write to me saying, where did I get my safari jacket? I remember the Observer did a fashion shoot with me in 1985 or 6 with the woman who does colour coordination. So there's David Steele and me and a couple of pop stars, and she dressed us. And I was told I should avoid blues and reds. I was brown and green man. So for years, I wore nothing but brown and green. The sort of radical people I like to spend time with, the sort of network of my friends, either are dressed in a radical style or have absolutely no style whatsoever because they're just not interested in it. Um, it's very seldom I bump into someone who's classically dressed and I think this is someone I'm going to find incredibly interesting for the rest of my life. You know? I've always dressed as the women I've lived with wished me to um, and taken their advice on it. You see those old clips of film of me in my safari jacket and my blue suede shoes and my hair curling up on my shoulders, I think it's been an improvement. <laughs>